everyone and welcome to the very first choral class video with Miss Bronson. I'm super excited to see you and we're going to have so much fun over these next few weeks. We're going to learn all things music. It could be reading notes. It could be learning about an instrument. It could be learning about a composer. It could just be singing a worship song together. You never know what each video is going to bring. I'm super excited regardless. And today we're going to start off our time with looking at my challenge board in the back. Many of you are used to doing that as our start of our choral class. So come on, let's find out what's on the board today. Oh no, is that what I think it is? Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, boys and girls, this is Artie the guitar. Artie, we've talked about this. You can't go interrupting Miss Bronson's video. I told you we already made a guitar video. Be sure to check that out so Artie doesn't have to keep interrupting my videos like this. Okay, so Artie, you and I have talked about this. Excuse me just one moment. It'll just take a second. Listen, I told you, it's Miss Bronson's turn to do a choral video right now. You, yeah, there you go. Okay, so so get down. Get Not too fast, but yeah, okay, so Artie, what are you doing? <sighs> Well, you got down. You okay, Artie? Good. So now that we're done with any and all possible distractions in our lesson, we can begin. Hmm, where'd everybody go? Oh. <laughs> Let's get started with our challenge for today. As you can see, the question is, what do these symbols mean? And we have six of them here on my board. We have the letters PP, MP, P, MF, F, and FF. Now, first of all, I want to address that if you are a band student and you are part of Mr. Hunley's class, you'll probably recognize most of these, if not all of them. I challenge you, if you are a band student here at WCDS, to see if you can guess what each of these mean. These letters represent words in another language. The other language is Italian. So these letters are an abbreviation for an Italian word. I will tell you what the Italian word is and then I will tell you what it means in English. Okay, I will give you the translation. So let's begin. Let's start off with PP. Okay, PP stands for, oh, let me hold it up a little closer. There we go. Pianissimo. Pianissimo. Okay, and as you can see on the card also, it says it means very soft, very soft. So let's hear an example of what PP is like. I'll play for my guitar students out there. I'm going to use the G chord for this video. So pianissimo is very, very soft. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. We can get some more examples in here. So as you guessed it, we're gonna move this way. We have MP. Maybe you know what this is. Maybe you can take a guess at what it is. Ready? Okay, let's turn it around and take a look. All right, so this is mezzo piano. Mezzo piano. And as you can also see on the card again, it means moderately soft. All right, so mezzo piano, moderately soft. All right, let's see what that sounds like on the guitar. We're gonna do it again. So we had uh, pianissimo, which was very soft. And now we have mezzo piano, which is moderately soft. Moderately is another way of saying a little bit soft sort of soft. You're not very soft, but you're not just soft either. You're somewhere in between. Okay? So, moderately soft, mezzo piano. Yeah, still pretty soft, but not too soft yet. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next one. P. P, P, P. So, we have P, which is short for piano. Piano. 
And on the card, you can read it says soft. So the P stands for piano and it means to play soft. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, wait, isn't the piano an instrument as well? You're right, it is an instrument. So the piano wasn't always called a piano as we call it today. That's actually a shorter name for its longer name that was used a lot in the 17 and 1800s called the piano forte. It literally translates from the Italian language piano forte into meaning soft loud in our English language. So the piano is a soft loud instrument. What does that mean? It basically means that unlike its you could call it relative, which is the harpsichord. The harpsichord couldn't give dy good dynamics. Dynamics is another way of saying how quiet or how loud an instrument is. The harpsichord didn't have very good dynamics. It couldn't make quieter sounds and louder sounds so very well. But the piano forte could, because you could play it soft, you could play it loud. It had great dynamics. So because this was still relatively new, especially back in the 17 and 1800s, it got the name piano forte. Today though, we just shorten it and we call it a piano, but the meaning is still the same. We're gonna take this guy, MF, 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 MF. Okay, so we have MF and that means mezzo forte, mezzo forte. And you can see on the card, it says moderately loud, moderately loud. So MF, mezzo forte, moderately loud. All right, I'm gonna put this one up on the board. Put it back up there with the press. All right, moderately loud, so it means it's kind of loud. It's not soft anymore, it's just kind of loud. So I'm gonna give you an example for the piano as well because I didn't do that just now. So let's start with the piano and then I'll move on to the mezzo forte. The piano is soft, okay? So taking the G chord and playing soft or piano would be like this. Now, mezzo forte is moderately loud, meaning it's, it's getting loud. It's not loud yet, it's just kind of in between from soft and loud, so Let's begin with that one. It sounds like this mezzo forte is a little bit louder. We're, we're getting built up here to louder and louder. I'm excited for the loud because some of you know that I'm a drummer. I uh, drums was my first instrument. I love playing drums, but drums, are they quiet? No, drums are loud. <laughs> and I've always enjoyed the sound of drums. I think it's super fun. So the louder, the better in my mind. And if you play drums, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's go on. We have two more. We're gonna grab this guy next. F, F for fun, music is fun. All right, F, do you know what the answer is? You know what this means? All right, let's turn it around. It means forte, forte. And forte means loud, it means loud, okay? So we've been building up gradually, gradually. Remember I said you're gonna to start to see a pattern, okay? We started super, super soft. Now we're starting to get louder. All right, so let's hear an example of what forte sounds like on Miss Bronson's guitar. Forte would be like about here. Okay, we're getting louder. We're getting louder, definitely getting louder. All right, ready for the last one? Okay, let's grab it. We got F, 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 F. Okay, see if you can guess this one, particularly beyond students. <laughs> All right, the answer is fortissimo, fortissimo. And it is very loud, my favorite. <laughs> All right, very loud. Let's put that guy up there and let's hear an example of what very loud is. Now, don't worry, I really don't think you're gonna need to turn down your speakers on uh, whatever device or computer you're watching this on. But just in case, I am gonna play my guitar as loud as I can, okay? Because it means very loud. You ready? 
Okay, here we go, the G chord for Fortissimo. <laughs> so we have PP. Do you remember what that stands for? Pianissimo. Pianissimo. How about MP? Ready? Mezzo piano. Mezzo piano. And we have P next, which stands for piano. Piano. Then we have MF. Do you remember what MF stands for? Mezzo forte. Mezzo forte. Okay, we have another one. F. What is F? Forte. Forte. Okay, and then we have FF, which stands for fortissimo. Fortissimo. All right, let's put them all together on this bronze and guitar so you can hear it. Maybe one of these days I can bring out some like drums or something and give you these examples on. That'd be fun. All right, so let's hear an example. We got uh, all the way from very soft to very loud. Okay, so I'm gonna start with pianissimo. Here we go. Mezzo piano. Piano. Mezzo forte. Forte. And fortissimo. is all of them. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I had so much fun going over all of these symbols. Uh, if you want to challenge yourself again, say that you learned this for the first time, play this video again. See if you can answer uh, my questions as to what they mean, uh, what their name is before I can. So that'll be a super fun challenge. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.